Welcome back everyone, so if you're enjoying Windows 10 or 11 on your PC and laptop and have some kind of slow performance or lagging issues, then you must disable these unnecessary services with one single click to make your Windows faster. Now disabling these unwanted services and tasks will surely increase Windows performance as they will not be running in the background and will result to low threat and low handle count. But before starting guys make sure that you hit the like subscribe and turn all the bell notifications so that you can get all the upcoming videos notification and this will also motivate me to bring more valuable videos for you you can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any kind of your pc and windows problem okay so right now i'm on my windows 11 and if i bring up the task manager and go to the performance tab so you can see the handle count is around 50,000. the process is around 133 the threads are around 1500 and the memory usage is above 55 percent the cpu usage is also high so this is all because there are a lot of processes thread and handle running in the background that also include many kind of services okay so what we have to do now you need to download the windows service control the link will be in the description of a google drive now you might have a question that whether this bat file is safe or not so what you can do, you can go to virus total website and you can copy the drive link. Go to the URL section of virus total, paste the link and hit the enter key. And you can see it says no security vendor flag this URL as malicious and everything is neat and clean. So you don't have to worry about the file because everything is good to go. Okay, so now you have to click on the download button. Click on download anyway. And once it gets downloaded, you have to open the downloaded folder. Now make a right click on this Windows Service Control and then click on Run as Admin. If you get this kind of Windows protected your PC, then you have to click on More Info and click on Run Anyway. Click on Yes. And this kind of command box will be up. Now if you read over here, it says press A and hit Enter to disable all services and tasks. So we don't have to disable all the services. Now another best part is, it says press B and hit enter to reactive all services and tasks. So let's say that if you disable all the services now and in future if you change your mind and you want to re-enable them back, then again you can come back to the same option and you can just reactivate them again. So we are not going to disable all the services, but if you look below it says press C and hit enter to disable unnecessary services and tasks. Okay, so what we have to do, we need to press the C key from our keyboard and now just hit the enter key. So now it will be disabling all the unwanted services that we really don't need on our computer. And if you want to know more about the services that are being disabled, then you can read from here. It says XBL game task, then it says OB discovery notification task. So these are the services which are being disabled now. Okay, so once it's been disabled, again, you have to go back to the top. Then it says disable windows update and store services and tasks. So this is an optional. If you want to disable the windows update and store, then you can do that. I use the windows update and the store option, so I will not be disabling them. Next, you have the remote services and tasks. So I don't use any kind of remote service. So for that, it says press G key. So again, I will come back and then press the G key and hit the enter key. So you can see that these four services of remote services are being disabled now. Now again, I will go back to the top. Then it says printer services and tasks. So I also don't use any kind of printer on my computer. And if you also don't use any printer service, then you have to press the I key. So you can scroll down to the bottom again. And this time you have to press the I key, hit the enter key. And all the printer services will be disabled. Again, go back to the top and then you have the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi services. So many people, they use the Ethernet connection only. They don't use the Wi-Fi. So if you want to disable them, you can disable it. I use the Wi-Fi, so I won't be disabling it. Now Bluetooth services, I don't use the Bluetooth. And if you also don't use, then you can press the K key to disable all the Bluetooth services. So again, I will come down and press the K key from my keyboard. And again, if I hit the enter key, so all these services are now being disabled from my computer. So it's very simple and very quick. Now, once you have disabled all these services, you will have to go ahead and restart your computer. And the next time when you will go and check your task manager, 
and go to the performance you will find the huge difference the cpu the memory usage the thread count and the handle count will be surely reduced and this all has been done by just disabling the services that we really don't use and that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe if you have any question you can let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye